Speaker John Burko blocked the government to bring back Saturday's motion. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video, so let's get started. Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another very quick Brexit video. There were just developments in the House of Commons. Speaker John Burko gave his statement on the retabling of Saturday's motion by government and he did not allow to bring back the motion. He gave two reasons for that. For once, the motion is in substance the same motion that was tabled on Saturday. And when Theresa May's withdrawal agreement was tabled again, she made changes. So in this case, it was possible to do so. In this case, we're exactly the same motion and he went through the three paragraphs and so on, which I will spare you now. It is essentially the same motion that was handed in for the Saturday vote. And secondly, he said the circumstances are substantially the same circumstances because the leader of the House, Jacob rees Moke, 21 minutes after the vote stood up at a point of order instead of an emergency business statement, by the way, and announced that this motion will come back on Monday. And Speaker John Burko said very clearly that within these 21 minutes, the circumstances definitely haven't changed at all. And even before the questions came, Speaker John Burko said that Boris Johnson has sent the letter to the EU doesn't change the circumstances either, because that was a set procedure already when the vote took place, because the BAM Act was an act already at that point of time, and which a little bit later on, on a question he said the Speaker of the House expects the government to obey the law so there's nothing surprising there. But he clearly stated that we all heard the government wants to put up the legislation for their withdrawal agreement this week that they can do. John Burko was very clear on that point. The motion from Saturday does not block the legislation. Although he stated that very clearly there obviously came question like from Peter Bone about that the letter has changed the circumstances, but John Burko um, then said um, that he expected the government to obey the law and then sending the letter doesn't change anything because that was the law at the time. And somebody else was developing that quickly that I didn't get who it was said. Um, there's another point which John Burko didn't bring up there that there even wasn't an emergency business statement. There was just a mention in a point of order by the leader of the house and the leader of the house just didn't even bring an emergency business statement. That another topic has to be put into the Monday timetable. Of course, Sir William Cash stood up for a point of order that was to be expected after what he said last Saturday. And now he said it a bit, little bit more clearer that in his point of view, not the Ban Act is the important law of the land they have to talk about, but it is the 1972 Withdrawal Act that was changed to the point that the UK will leave the EU on the 31st of October. Member of Parliament Angela Eagle said that retabling this motion is an attempt to subdue Parliament and to have them vote on it until the government gets what they want. On that point, John Burko said that something like this, because when Theresa May attempted that, there were members of parliament on the government side who said to the press that they would even bring it up 27 times until parliament does what they want. That was part of the judgment. And his judgment is for the protection of parliament, not to be forced to vote and vote over again until the government has what they want. And there was one little fun part because he quoted... Um, Jacob Rees-Mogg, the leader of the House, who at the time when John Burko on the 18th of March made his statement that he does not allow the withdrawal agreement of Theresa May to return the same way it was, Jacob Rees-Mogg said in Parliament that he is glad that the Speaker is holding up this precedence and that he does not allow this. So this time he has to deal with it that John Burko did exactly the same what Jacob Rees-Mogg wanted on the March decision. But John Burko made it very clear that the government can still get Brexit with their deal on the 31st of October, depending on the legislation. If they can manage to get the business motion through the House, which will probably set a very narrow timetable to do so, and a very quick timetable, and a very, you have to say, in a complex 
thing like that you really have to say a forceful uh, timetable of course it's always doable but um, a legislation like this I've never seen a parliament do that before within 10 days and that would be necessary to get Brexit with this deal on the 31st of October so it's really a quite challenging and ambitious attempt. A member of the Lib Dem said before session already that this is uh, not enough time to do something that important and that constitution and uh, constitution changing and they that government should take an extension from the EU to get the legislation properly through Parliament. Obviously there was a lot of discussions in, in the House about the judgment of the Speaker and so he felt that he should tell the members of Parliament that of course he got counsel, he said that on Saturday that he will get counsel from the experts before he makes his judgment and he did something he doesn't do too often but he said the counsel he got did not speak against the judgment he made. So I just want to get you these quick informations. I have to do this video in German and in English on a day like this you, as, as you can imagine. Parliament session is going on. I will go continue watching very soon from the point where I left because Jeremy Corbyn just put up questions to the Prime Minister. If something exciting happens today in these questions, for example, there are some urgent questions or in the, according to the business motion Jacob rees Mock is bringing up later, I'm going to keep you informed. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you soon.